Hello, Boom. everybody. My my name Career Bros. Back here again with Nintendo Capri Sun. In case yeah. you were worried that at some point he had wandered away and I replaced him with some hobo. Yep. <laughs> I am the hobo, by the way. Now, last time or like no a couple episodes that. or whatever, I was mentioning this uh, this blender Shante that I had been working with. So I do have one gif of what I've been able to do with that, and I sent it to Tim here, and I'm gonna send it to Joel too. Mm. And it's very not impressive at all, but I'm so happy with it because fucking you don't understand how complicated it was <laughs> to get even that simple thing down <laughs> in a software that you don't know how to run. But like you can tell from the GIF there, it's a pretty high quality model. It's a good rig. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mimics dock, yeah. So like I'm really excited to get through this course, so that I can actually learn how to, like, work the whole thing, and then redo a little bit of how the face works, so that I'm happy with it. <laughs> and then I then I can actually have, like, Shante do, like, all of the dances that you get in this game. Like, damn it, fucking, I got all these little spear gophers here that are getting in my way. Yup, <laughs> same, oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> get out of my way, oh. spear gophers. Yeah, out of my way, I want. I, I, I want to shake a da booty. Scarecrows, scarecrows. But yeah, like Shantae's belly dancer. I want to make her like do some of these these moves in 3D, and maybe I can mm -hmm. put it up as like a Twitch notification or something. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, that is a good idea. She'd make a great Twitch notification. She's. I I already have the one from Half Genie Hero as my sub notification. It's great. <laughs> nice. Oh. Now there was something else that I wanted to ask or bring up. Oh yeah, hearts. Okay. Um, that's another thing. We found out where a heart is that was easily missable, or that I just wasn't getting the hint to, and we went and both got it. So we're a sure little did. bit more, a little bit more stronger for uh, the trials ahead. Yes, sir. And I've also uh, tried to make sure Tim doesn't miss the the heart in the field when we head back to Watertown, because then he'll be all caught up. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, by field, you mean Scarecrow's field? Yeah, there, there was one in this area, I know, because that's the one that I grabbed. And okay, if you were cool. still at three hearts before, then you must have run by it. Yeah, because that's where I am right now. There definitely is, does seem to be, like, where you can go up here, maybe with a monkey and get something. Yeah, the, mo the monkey's the only thing you needed to get it. I think it's just a little bit too high for, uh, for oh, Belly Dancer oh, for him to jump. I'm like, no. I don't know if we had the monkey last time we were here. Oh, I can see it. Well, we had to run back through it, right? Because we didn't turn on any Did warps. It. Oh, if only I knew. <laughs> it was that simple. Wow. How nice to walk past that. Fantastic. Yeah, that, that might have made the boss just a tad easier. Maybe just, a little just bit. A, just a little smidge. <laughs> a little smidge. It's the tiniest of smidgens. Ow. But not ow, because it's not as owie. Not now that I have these hearts. Oh, I'm on my last life. I should probably... Well, I did save, but... Yeah, I've been sort of rushing through the forest here, too. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Get up here in the treetops. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I've been rushing through the forest, too. I should probably slow down, immediately jump down a hole. Let's well, player's okay. curse, man. Well, that's one solution. Just jump in the pit, you know? <laughs> it's it's always it's go ahead and always do it. the funniest when it is immediately followed up by like what you just said not to do. Yep, it saved my heart, so that's good. There's another heart up there. I'm gonna. Oh. Oh. Man. Oh? <laughs> oh, I think there. Are you in the forest? Because I think we saw one there. Yeah. But it's at the top of the grassy. What you were just talking about, the steep grass, you can't... Yeah, you know. we can't get up there yet, so we're gonna have to come back. Unless the elephant can go up it, which I doubt. I, s I really doubt it. Even If even, like, a spry little monkey can't make it up that thing? Yeah, then probably. Oh, but I wonder... Big flat-footed elephant's got no chance. Oh, man. Oh, no. There's... And on the subject of Metroidvanias, I've also been <laughs> playing Guacamelee for the first time on some of my streams. Have you ever tried that? No. Wakamele is awesome. It's actually reminding me a lot of Shantae. Huh. Like, the writing is really clever and, like, funny. You get mm. your power-ups 
from a goat who transforms into a man by smashing his statues, and every time he's just more upset that you continue to smash his statues. So close. So and like close. the gameplay is really tight. Hmm. Well. And it is also a Metroidvania. And it's also like local multiplayer for people. Like it's oh. kind of kind of like an arcade beat em up in that sense. I don't have anybody here to play with. But I heard about it from some local podcaster friends of mine who did it for their channel a while back. And even single player, I've been enjoying the hell out of it. That's awesome. It's all also entirely like Lucha Libre, like Mexican wrestler theme. Oh, wow. It's really fun. Hello there, Sister Sage Man. And it just struck me, you guys should potentially do that during your stream if it's ever open to suggestions or whatever it's your big like group stream yeah oh would you like me to save a record yes i would that is my baby right it's so hard to tell you found them all now it's i'll teach you something very useful lot. watch carefully <laughs> oh right this is how it works okay so it's not that the warp squids actually you um you warp from one to another you get a dance that will warp you back to a certain town. Oh, oh okay. So, huh. so now that I've put in everything at uh, at the warp squid lady, um, at a water town, I now have a dance that will take me back, and it's labeled as Bolo. Nice. Well, down, down, up, right, left, B A. Cool. Now I can get back to the combat uh, upgrade town anytime I want. I don't have anything to get away from here again, but that's it's one directional fast travel, better than nothing. Hell yeah. Finger baths can build anything. I wonder why a pirate would need so many of them. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes this just reminds me of the good old days of gaming. Not that they're not good now, but still. There's something about this, like... Like, Game Boy Color games don't particularly age well, but... To people who, like, grew up with them, oh, there's yeah. something about them that, like, I... Because nobody wants to replicate this charm these days. This, like, super mm. low pixel count look. <laughs> but it's... People who can do it well, it's really nice. The closest I think I came, actually, was, like, last year I found a, um... A small free mobile game that was, uh, like a Metroidvania, but it was only about an hour long. Hmm. And it was actually done up entirely as, like, a mock-up of a Game Boy original game. Like, it huh. was that green and black style to it. Oh, wow. And it, and it was so nice just to see, like, somebody, even if it was a small free game, like, somebody made a new thing that looks like this. That is pretty awesome. Huh. I do. So, flat. Float. Buy float muffins. Eat. Damn it. Wrong button. I want to read what these items do. So, oh, I'm glad I, I float muffins. Eat one for protection against pits. Exit candy. Flash bolts. Attack from a distance. Double tap up for a two-hit spin kick. I already got that one. And... Attack during an elbow dash for a powerful twirl. Oh, geez, that's nine hundred. Yikes! Sounds rather. To drill through. Ooh, this is an upgrade to the spin kick. I'm gonna get that. Yellow. Okay, good. Because I do have the spin kick. Attack during a spin kick. So let's see what this looks like now. I haven't used it at all. Because I think the range is even smaller than like the hair whip, and I'm so nervous to get that close to things. Yeah, same. Huh. Oh my god, this is amazing! <laughs> oh! It suddenly became useful! Uh oh. Because I can. Oh, this, this is fantastic. Because I can stand back. Okay, so. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to properly compare this to something because I can't think of a game that does this right now. But it's like a dive kick. Like, the one attack launches oh. me into the air, and then the upgrade drill kicks me down diagonally at an enemy. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll be able to put that to, to use. I think it's like a Mega Man power-up, but nothing comes to mind. I, I think it's actually, like, you see that type of move a lot in old beat-em-ups, or an occasional yeah, fighting game. Yeah, there's like game. one beat-em-up out there somewhere that does something like that. Of course, like, all jump kicks or something. 
Yeah, yeah, like like a jump kick. I think Turtles in Time did something like it. Yeah, Turtles, Turtles in Time it. has a move like that. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh, gotta be human. Also, yeah. Yay, Water Town. Anyhow, I got my upgrade from Water Town and Save I healed me. up. Let's continue onward because we need to go past it to the we Zombie must. Caravan. I will say yes, I will, even though I just did. Yeah, yeah, I remember this area. Came through this whole place once just to find out it was a dead end. Hmm. <laughs> that house, you know what, I'll take that too. Oh, that's up. <laughs> oh well, joys of uh, playing, a, playing a game blind. Mm-hmm. That's what's so crazy. Oh, I was already full. Well, then. <laughs> Maybe I had like okay, one half so, For sure, a definite improvement they made on the game in, in newer iterations. They pause time when you dance. <laughs> yeah, that definitely helps. <laughs> getting getting Firefly blasted while I'm just trying to become a monkey is certainly mildly frustrating. <laughs> Sorry. All right, what do we got here? Uh, float muffins. Oh, that's what those were. Okay. God damn it. I don't think the float muffins protect you from spikes, though. So it's like only from bottomless pits. Ooh. I'm wondering if I shouldn't... I got an item that's 902, but I think it's an upgrade to the move that I picked up. No. Yes, yes, because you picked up the, the elbow dash one. So, yeah, like, did. not the combat that I got. How about you? Have you used that at all? Uh, yeah, by accident a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Factoring an elbow dash oh, God, for I, a I love twirl. this move! It's so, it, it looks so cool! You don't have I just gems. wish they would've, uh... I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna grind the gems and get this, actually. <laughs> I just wish that they would've made her hair go out a little bit more at the back end. Like, they probably couldn't have because of sprite limitations. Yeah. And you can't see this right now either, but like to anybody who's watching right now, when I go into a drill kick, my hair actually looks kind of short. Whereas she's got a long ponytail. If that stretched out like another body length behind her, she'd look like a spear. Wow. Sheesh. Which would be awesome. Okay, cool. So, uh... <laughs> The drill kick will not drill through enemies, it just sets me down in front of them, ready to be attacked. Not quite as awesome as I'd hoped for, but still cool. Uh. Okay, cool. Okay, fantastic. Made it to the next area. Bravo. Into, into the swamp. Oh yeah, I remember going there and thinking it looked cool, but then it turned out we were supposed to go the other way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a bunch of zombos here, so fantastic. They're gonna just start taking away my health. If I die, I get my health back and I come back at the entrance? Yeah, that sounds like a good plan to me. Well, sort of. As long as you don't get a game over. Yeah, that's the big like, thing. It's an interesting use of lives in a game that's sort of exploration-based. Yeah, true. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm having trouble deciphering it, but I think they may have different versions of the main game theme, depending on where you are. At least I feel like I've heard a couple Yeah, I've heard, like, little bits and pieces of it. of it here and there. Like, in the dungeon we were in, I heard some of it. Yeah. Here. Anyways, made it to the Savy statue. Good. I made it to 800. Running past all the zombos, they're probably more scary at night. Huh. I don't know if we ever made it this far. Because I'm in a graveyard now. I don't remember a graveyard at all. Got a Viking statue with them big old badonka tonka lonks. It's <laughs> good.
Oh, this this area goes up a lot. There's a lot of tree climbing here. Sounds nasty. Well, the only thing that sucks about that is like when there's pits below and you can't see them, and you're coming down from the trees, and it's like, oh, just it, land right it, in one. It, lo it looks like we might be safe on that front. Well, that's good. It looks like there's ground all on the bottom, but I think there might also be ghosts here that don't show up during the day. Because there's a bunch of... I don't think there's a way to kill them, but they're kind of... Oh, wait, yes, you can kill them. Never mind. I'm just going to say that they seem to be in the way of a lot of crucial jumps I got to make here. Ew. That's good. They thought of that. that they don't is. just block your access for half of... Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. I did get this far because it's just a dead end. So let me see if I can monkey now. Maybe figure out a way past some of this. Two boards. So close, but I feel like night time's gonna hit right when I get there. Da -da -da. Son of bitch. Alright, please make a bitch. day. I just, I just want to not deal with the ghosts anymore. Cool, the ghosts are still here in the day. What an awesome, oh, no. awesome type of ghost. There it is. All right. Oh, I should have picked up that other one, but I didn't. Okay. Jump. No, huh. Okay, so... The fuck then, guys? I feel like this is the same roadblock I hit last time. It's the thing that happens when you poop on me. Alright. Interesting song. Uh, can't say I've ever heard it before. Nope, and you'll never hear it again, because it sucks! Uh. Alright. Well... The fuck, then? Mm-hmm. Where is this zombie caravan? Zombie caravan? Well, I'm heading out to, uh, join the search myself here. Oh, hey, Goomba. Because I found my way to, like, a wall. I kind of want to make a school of this, I don't know. This little stone pillar thing seems like it's much too deliberate to just be here for scenery. Because there's uh, nothing else like it in the area. Yikes. Ow! There's like a witch over here. Well, um, as much fun as it is to watch two guys run around the same area <laughs> looking for the way forward, I think I'm gonna call this, uh, call this episode here, and in the Sounds next good. one, I'm just gonna know which way to go. Sounds good. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Like button below, consider subscribing to one or both of us, if you haven't already. Rock and, on. uh, hmm. yeah. yeah, you guys know the drill, you guys know how it goes. That we do, that they do, something.